a new course on model context protocol advanced ai agents for beginners is out now it helps you to connect ai with any sort of a software be it whatsapp twitter instagram etc do check out the link in the comment section below so hi everyone today this is a very important mcp tutorial that we are covering where we are trying to automate n8n yes you heard it right it is the same trending software which is all over the internet for building out AI agent workflows and general workflows also for automation. Now the automation can be done for posting on LinkedIn, posting on Twitter, cleaning up your drive, creating an AI agent, what not without any sort of coding. It is a drag and drop tool where you can create very complicated workflows with ease. So in the past video, I've already explained how and it and works and how you can create a simple workflow now this time going a step ahead we would be explaining the model context protocol mcp server for n810 that will help you to operate n810 completely from your cloud ai or any other ai model so we would be trying to create a workflow we would also try to update a workflow fetch some information and whatnot so let's get started for now this is a test workflow that i've set up for myself here you can see that this intakes a chat message from the user, calls out the calculator tool and gives you a calculation, very basic one. So before we jump on to Cloud AI to control to demonstrate the MCP for NA10, let me do one thing. First of all, you need to copy this particular ID that comes after workflow. Do remember that I have hosted this particular n an event on local host so i'll be telling you what are the changes that i did if you are using the cloud version there are minor things that you need to change so let's get started let me go to my cloud ai and under the hammer sign mcp tools are available and all 16 are n an mcp tools activate workflow create tag create workflow deactivate workflow delete tag get execution, get tag, get workflow, list execution and whatnot. Multiple things are there. You can also create workflows. You can also update existing workflows as well. So do remember that. Let's try out this first MCP server for NA10 and then we'll jump on to how I did it. So let's get started. Fetch the last execution information about the workflow ID in NA10 id equals to so i have pasted the workflow id it will first of all help us to fetch the last execution done on this particular workflow what was the last prompt run at what time so this is, i am showing you to demonstrate that the information it can fetch out execution id execution mode was manual started on may 1st and here you can see that the last prompt ran was this one. It is able to fetch it out correctly. Now let's try to do one thing. Let's should we try creating a new workflow? Let's try it out as well. Create a very basic new workflow in N8N, which connects a chat message to AI agent. The AI agent should be using Olama for ML model. And in the model, you sh it should be using Quen 2.5. So I'm trying to describe it as much in detail as possible. Here you can see that it has, it will still make some mistake, I assume, because I was trying to create a new workflow completely using AI. It was making some mistake, but I think it's still fine. Let's try it out. What does it generate for us? This may take some time. So not just fetching information, it can also create workflows for you. Uh, it, it might be throwing some error here, but uh, the workflow gets created correctly. There might be minor bugs in the workflow also that you can set up. But I think the structure that it gives, it would, you would be able to create your new workflow like with just 10% of tweaks. So here you can see that it is creating a new workflow, testing it out, doing multiple things. Here you can see that it, is, it has started throwing some error, but I think that shouldn't be an issue. Let's save this one. And here you can see that a new chat workflow has been created. Simple Quen 2.5 chat assistant. Here you can see that 
it is able to put on the chat message here you can see it is able to connect to the olama model as well let me see what it is able to do it is able to put on the quen model as well let's try to update an existing workflow also i think that would be also interesting so the workflow that i showed you in the beginning we will try to make a minor tweak in that update this existing workflow and change the chat message to a manual input that should be triggered manually now i'm providing it the workflow id as well let's see whether it is able to update our existing workflow or not so we could just created a simple workflow here you can see that it has started changing so initially what i show you there was a chat message that was going on now i am replacing it with a manual trigger that means you need to go and click manually here you can see that this is how it is updating it tool calculator is there we are just changing a minor tweak just for demonstration purpose there are many other tools that you can try out create a new tag for your workflow we have got an error let's check out i think the changes would have been done what i assume so let's go to save and here you can see that the manual trigger has come up so it is able to update it a manual input is there test workflow it is disconnecting the model so let me connect it back it to it when 2.5 is low it is able to make the changes that are desired for manual trigger and manual input also because if you're not using chat message then you need to have a manual input as well let me try out another tool and then we'll jump on to how i did it i think the pro a prompting has to be very very proper because anytime is a complicated tool even it took me two hours to figure out how to create a tag by id so let's try out this one get a tag by id and then we will jump on to how i did this extract all the tags associated with this workflow so claude has started running again i think it's a fourth tool that we are exploring for na10 now as you can see these are two tags associated ai and test ai and test are the tags associated so this is how you can connect claude ai or any other ai with na10 and let mcp take control over your na10 workflow now coming to the github repo that i'm using for this particular mcp server is mcp n8n workflow builder as you can see by sala coast it's quite easy to implement i think you first need to git clone this particular repo and then npm install you need to have node.js in your system n8n host and n8n api keys are required so i will be showing you how to do it so n8n host would be a local host and in it and api key i'll be showing you how to generate it so first of all we are we will try to create an api key for ourselves this is locally hosted do remember this so you need to go to a settings and here it's a straight away option and it and api and you need to create a new api key so this is how you can create your api key for the particular mcp server now talking about the and it and host it's quite easy everything remains same you just need to replace this part your n8n instance.com with local host and whatever url the particular application is working on so like for example if you look for myself this is local host 5678 hence in place of your n8n instance.com it would be local host 5678 right that's the only change we need to do once we are done i think nothing much has to be changed in the cloud config for mcp you need to add this particular part as you can see here arguments would be part to your build index.js so before you git clone this and npm install you need to run npm build as well npm run build this will create an index.js file in the particular folder that you have a git cloned for now once done let me show you how i added the config for n8 and mcp so here you can see that you need to go to files go to settings 
developer go to edit config cloud desktop config and here you can see that in the config under mcp servers you need to copy paste that particular code block everything remains same there are few things that you need to change so what is the absolute path of your git cloned repo that we just now built with using npm you need to provide that that is one thing you need to change your init and host to local host or if you are using the cloud version you need to mention the cloud url and init and api that we just now created once done you need to go to your task manager and cloud and once you restart you should be able to see init and mcp tools in your cloud ai you can use it with langchain also you can use it with mcp host with other llms as well so there are no limitations i think it looks to be a great tool for this it's a wrap i hope you try out anit and mcp and automate your workflows as well thank you so much